Hey everyone, it's Gretchen here with Cat and Paws. I uh, have a different kind of video today, and uh, it is a paper flip. Uh, Jackie over at Nooks and Mrs. asked to see this color box book that I picked up at Walmart. She wanted to see what it looked like inside. It is in the modern uh, millinery, and it is 50 double sided sheets, and it's 12 by 12. Uh, just FYI, Jackie, I have used some paper out of this, but I think most of the designs are still there. I'm going to flip, uh, flip it to its side so you can see both sides. And very pretty paper. Now, it is a thinner type. But you can see there, it does have great pattern. And I think there's two sheets of each design. I think this is from a different... I'm not sure. May have been part of that. Now, how pretty is that? It reminds me so much of like a wallpaper or something. And then this side has writing on it. Oh no, that was part of that, wasn't it? No. There's the other side. I'm trying to use the evening sun to help me. Otherwise, <laughs> I'll be forever getting this recorded. I recorded it yesterday, but it did not show up well on the camera. There is that design. I like it though. Now this is not perforated. You have to cut that off. Now why did they do that? I'm not sure. These are great. I made belly bands with the, um, the black and white. And then it's just a graph on the other side. Some oranges and greens, and it's a yellow polka dot. You can see that. And it fades into the orange. That's what I like about the color variation. It fades into the next color. And then you can use it. Like, how perfect is that matched together? Or even this side with this side. And then on this one, it turns into two big polka dots. And then we get back to baby polka dots, and it's almost a greenish, like a robin's egg blue. I know that sun's interfering a little bit, but hopefully you can catch those colors. And then it's a blue. So the sun is moving quicker than I can flip, so I shift the blinds a little bit. So you can see that blue now, and then it's that light blue on the other side. And then that has a design pattern on the side and then like the orange and green it goes to the blue and green and then you have the like aqua robin egg uh, polka dots this one has a saying on it dance as if no one is looking And this one has a thing as well, and it's white. And then the back of this gets into the pink. Oh, that's what that sheet's to. I cut off the end to use as a pocket in my journal. Gets into the purples, and that's what it looks like on the other side. This looks almost like a netting uh, fabric-like, but it is paper. And then how pretty is this? That would make a beautiful book cover. And that's the other side. On both ends. Which I guess really you could fussy cut these out. And then use them on the same page to in a journal page. That would be a good idea. Then it goes into the dress form. And these have real light, black and white, uh, you know, kind of pattern dots. Then there is the next page. Uh, it just has some writing. And then there's the back of that. We get into some polka dots. It almost, you know, um, mirrors that. 
But again, it's that big strip. Some newspaper print. And then there's the back of it. And this is almost a light, light cream, white rose pattern. Hopefully the sun catches that. And then on the back of this one, it's again almost like that netting, cloth looking. It's very light. Continues on with that light again. Oh wait, that's the same sheet, sorry. Slipping on. There is a pink that matches the black, that matches the blue. And then here is the other side of that. We get into a pink and white stripe. That's the back. Polka dots. I think that is it. Yes. There is the back of the book. Just gives you some ideas. And there's all the paper. I think I have all of them on there. I'm not sure if I have the green left. I might have used it. So that is again Modern Millinery, Millinery by Color Block and it is 50 sheets and I picked this up at Walmart. I either paid five or ten dollars for this. I cannot remember. It's one of my very first, like the second or third paper pad I've owned. And then I just wanted to show you uh, my hot buy I picked up at Michael's for five dollars. This was the other day. It's in the Harvest Boutique. I don't think I've seen this flip through, so I'll show you real quick as soon as I peel the tape off. So when I was digging around the hot pads, this was kind of on the bottom. You can see it's been through the ringer. One of the um, sticky things, see it's very sticky, so I don't know how old it is. I don't know how long it's been around. Very sticky, but you can see like the bottom of it's kind of dirty, but no problems. It looked like everything was in there and one side was still taped. This is cardstock. It is one-sided. Again, Harvest Boutique, 48 pages and 12 by 12. So it looks like two of each page. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, this has glitter. That is actually like a navy blue with the roses, pink and green. Glittered. Glittered. Some cut aparts. Two pages of them. Oh, that's pretty too. More glitter. This has been accidented with glitter the whole way around the circle. You get two of them as well. Parts. They are just that cut of parts, but they are glittered. And that is that 12 by 12. So I'm glad I found it. Um, that, I noticed that one that matches. Well, it matches the wood grain. That one. Pretty well. I thought they were pretty much the same, but they're different. Anyways, that is my paper flip through for both 
pads. And thank you, Jackie, for suggesting that I show you this pad because I had a lot of fun doing this. All right, take care. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.